。第七十九页篇章结构：假装一切都很好，小心鸭子症候群。Do you suffer from duck syndrome? It can be soothing to watch a duck effortlessly gliding through the water on a pond or lake. In reality, however, the duck is paddling like crazy under the water to stay afloat. In a way, people can exhibit this behavior as well. Some may appear happy and carefree, but under the surface, they may be struggling with tension, worry, and perhaps fear. All of which they are trying their best to conceal from the rest of the world. There is now a name for this particular phenomenon: duck syndrome. The term is believed to have originated at Stanford University and is sometimes called Stanford duck syndrome. Although it is not officially recognized as a mental disorder, it describes the condition where college students appear calm and composed, but underneath they are having a tough time dealing with the stress of college life. Common symptoms of duck syndrome might include feelings of being overwhelmed and a sense of losing control of one's life. Moreover, individuals may find it difficult to relax and experience loneliness, depression, or anxiety. In terms of behavior, signs could include an increase in alcohol or drug use, loss of appetite, or a stronger tendency to delay doing things. There are several possible causes for duck syndrome. Apart from the pressure of transitioning from high school to college, comparisons may also play a part. For example, students often observe others' statuses or lifestyles on social media, where peers may project an image of success, happiness, and achievement. This can lead to self-doubt and the pressure to meet unrealistic expectations. To lessen the effects of duck syndrome, students are encouraged to practice meditation or seek professional psychological therapy. Simply talking about these pressures with a family member or a trusted friend can also be very helpful.